Hey, yo, where's the audio at? Oh, I muted it. Haha. <laughs> Whoops. Let's try again. Hi, my name is Madam and and welcome back to some King Koi. I felt like I had something to say, but I totally forgot. Anyways, let's get straight into this. Once again, I just got back from work. Another toasty day. I feel out of it. Let's be nice. You look like you look like you don't have a worry in the world. Yeah, what are you saying? Oh, like what? No, no. Those aren't the kind of words I mean. More like, you know, the kind of stuff that makes your chest feel tight. I can't help but worry and worry some more, and I can't focus on class at all because of it. It's worse than usual. Now you're getting it. There are things in this world more important than studying. Of course, because this is a serious problem. Yeah. Don't make me say Someday a time will come that you understand this too. It's a good reason to be irritated. He could say whatever he wanted. You do? Guess I'll see you tomorrow. I could head back to my room, but I'd just be distressed even if I did. Oh well. Better go for a change of pace. I wandered aimlessly through the halls. If it were sunset, then I could just head for the roof, but there was still some time to go until then. Spacing out under this wintry sky was going to land me with a cold. Ah. Ah. It was Ria and Jogasaki. It was rare for Ria to show up at all, much less around the time when classes ended. Hey, Ria. Jogasaki. <laughs> She's not being weird. What are you two up to? これから打ち合わせがあんの。面倒くせえから勝手にやっといてくれりゃいいのに。そんなこと言って、こっちが決めておくとあなた後で文句言うじゃない。足りめえだろ。お前の要求することだいたいきついんだよ。リアならできるで
It appeared her comments had lost some of their bite since I'd managed to open up with Jogasaki. Yup. Don't be so direct. Hey, what's with the suspicious look? It's a word everyone is familiar with, it's even in the dictionary. いや、お前とアヤカもずいぶんと仲良くなったよな。え、私は別に。あのアヤカを攻略するとはな。お前には女たらしの才能があるってこった。That makes me sound horrible. 攻略された覚えはない。はいはい。ね。今度はお姫様を狙ってるってわけだ。What? How do you know that? 俺の部屋がどこにあるか。no, he doesn't. Clearly, he doesn't. Just how much of my romantic feelings has she caught wind of? Is it really, though? I'm just as surprised, but everyone stands some chance. Right? Right? Huh? Ria had one heck of a serious look on her face. I wonder what that was for. Sorry to interrupt. いいよ、気にすんな。こっちもいい気分転換になったわ。何よそれ。私と一緒だと息が詰まるみたいに聞こえるんだけど。うん。実際マリアの時は息が詰まるんだよ。仕草までチェックされて散々だぜ。Sound like she had a rough too. Maria, can I say one last thing? Huh? Have Maria stay sophisticated. Please. That was a wish straight from Ichimatsu Oda's heart. Hmm. In the end, I wound up littering, low littering all over. I'd gone decently cold and I've worked up an appetite, so I headed back to the dorm. Upon my arrival? Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Minachan was waiting in my room for some reason. Sorry, I would have come straight back if I know you'd be here. You could have just messaged him. So, why are you the sudden visit? Huh? Why? Ah, I let my guard down completely, so that made my heart skip a bit. Oh, it's nothing. All the while, my heart felt incredibly full. You could say I had filled me with a strange sense of determination, or perhaps I just wanted to show off my good side. Well, why don't we get our regular etiquette lesson started? Don't. Sure. It was impressive how quickly she shifted mindsets. This is an example of hers I should learn to follow regardless of whether I liked her or not. Oh, it's this late already? We had both gotten so immersed in what we were doing that several hours had passed. It's mad impressive how before the heroine, he's completely helpless. And as soon as he finds the heroine, he's like the opposite of that. Isn't that insane? Yeah, thank you very much. I was thinking of taking my studies more seriously. Yeah, mostly because I wanted to show you how cool I could be. Oh, that's not a good reason. Of course, I've made up my mind to put my best foot forward for you. 
Figured this would make her bashful. Now that I'd seen this reaction, it did make me think there was hope. Bro, barely realizing there's hope. That's insane. Hmm? What is it? The game's being a little laggy. What's going on today? Waiting, waiting. There we go. Hold on. The shot got and skip anything. Okay, good. Huh? Noticed what? No, he clearly has not. No, he has not noticed. Different from usual? Her clothes are the same as ever. Her hairstyle? No, that's not it. I think that's the same, too. Put me in a real spot if she had said it was that she cut a centimeter off the ends of her hair or something. Actually, when she stares at me this hard, it's embarrassing. I get the sense that my shyness was making me slower witted than usual. Better just be honest and surrender. Uh, sorry. I give up. I didn't know what else to say and I don't want to pick something at random either. I'm ashamed. Hmm? Your lips? Oh, that. It was a lipstick I thought would look good on Mia Chen when we went out together and bought for her as a gift. She looks exactly the same. If I remembered right, it was that stuff called Premiere Amour. But I don't know how much about these kinds of things. I've never dated anyone either, so it's difficult. Assuming I didn't have the wrong idea. Right now, Mina-chan was bashful, but also delighted. So I used what I gave you as a present. The girl I liked was happy. That made me just as happy in return. Really? That makes me happy. That's kind of a silly question, Mina. Anyone would be if the girl they gave a gift to took a liking to it. Even more so when it's the girl you care for. I wanted to see even more of her expression and to learn more about her. With that thought in mind, my body moved on reflex. Oh? I wanted to see you from closer up, should I not? Her eyes wandered restlessly. She anxiously gripped her hands together, sometimes swaying in place. This was proof of how nervous my gaze made her. I've learned so much from you in such a short amount of time. Now, it's my turn to teach you something. Oh? Once I made up my mind, I felt courage naturally bubble up inside of me. This was the time to take action. That was what my instincts told me. Didn't you tell me that you wanted me to teach you about love? So, so now bend over! Sorry, it'll be difficult for me to convey through words alone. So I thought I should show you instead. I would. I softly pulled her petite frame into my arms. This was the first time I had ever hugged a girl, but I did understand how to move myself. I managed to tell you how I felt, but I thought this might get the point across a little bit better. I'd die laughing if she just passed out. If you don't like it, you're welcome to push me away. Playing it modestly or waiting for her to hate me would mean Mina-chan would be forever beyond my grasp. I could go take hold of any chance I could with all of my strength. Because it's you I'm dealing with. <laughs> it's never occurred to me. In fact, you're the only one I could ever do this with. <laughs> Your reactions are more... funnier than I thought they would be. You think so? That's not true. See, can't you hear it? The sound of my heart? Oh. 
I'm crazy nervous, and my heart feels like it's about to explode. I tighten my grip around her. I'm hugging you after all. What do you mean? Seeing Minachan's flushed face and ears only made my emotions spill out all the more. I'll say this one more time. I like you, Minachan. I once again share those heartfelt feelings, but in my own unique way. There may have been plenty of girls I found attractive, but the only one I wanted to be by my side was Mina. Are you okay? Hear that? Then it speed up again? I'm the same as you. When I tell you with my words, or tell you with my actions, I'm anxious and nervous as heck. I did think it through in my own way, but I figured tackling this head-on suited me the most. That was the show her exactly who I am method. Sure, I'll wait until you get your feelings in order. The way she talks right now too is funny. It made me feel somewhat lonely when she pulled away. I found myself thinking, I wish I could have hugged her longer. It's for me? Oh, that's nice. I like chocolate. Specifically dark chocolate. That over milk. Nah, it depends on the mood. I'm lying. Oh, Valentine's. Practicing what? Wait, really? That makes me super happy. Dang, she made him? That's crazy. True, they were mishappen. They were a far cry from being as well formed as off the shelf chocolate. Since you made these by hand, does that make them romantic chocolates? Obligatory? Ah, he he. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I just thought it sounded like you. Still, I think that's part of your charm. That the natural part of yourself isn't so princess like. It makes me think. You're the same as the rest of us. And it makes me happy that you let me see that side of you. Even her tone is so different from how she usually talks to him. Like, the change is really crazy to me. Also with Rhea, Rhea's change was also interesting. Say, does that only apply to me? How about that? It's funny because it feels like she's talking to me. Because I'm also grinning. I couldn't help myself. The smirks just came out on their own. That's what I love about visual novels. They feel so immersive. It feels like you're part of the story. Not only because you're narrating, but because you're also reading as one of the characters. So I think that's very interesting. You could give him your own personality if you wanted to. Oh, sure. It is getting pretty late. I was reluctant, but there was no way around it. I hadn't gotten a real answer yet, but she'd given me something tangible in return. That was enough for today. Thanks for the chocolate. I'll savor it when I eat it. How it tastes is irrelevant. What makes me happy is that you made it yourself. <laughs> Good night. See you tomorrow. I saw her off as she left. Oh, fatigue for ghosts out of me all at once. I must have been more tense than I thought. She made this for me, didn't she? Yes, she did. I felt a faint weight in my hand. I plucked the piece up and stuck it in my mouth. Delicious. It was a superb balance of sweetness and mild bitterness. 
that was Mina Chan for you. Her sweets making skills were relatively decent for her first attempt. It'd be a waste to eat these all in one sitting. No, I don't think so. I disagree. I knew she'd ask me to eat them quickly, but I'd better split them into a few servings. When I thought about how her feelings were packed in them, I was overjoyed. Oh yeah, I'll have to consider what to give her in return. White Day was a ways of... What? White Day was a ways of still, but there was no time like the present to start planning. After all, when all was said and done, this was Mina Chan I was dealing with. Maybe I could do something homemade too. No, I've never made sweets before. This is crazy complicated, isn't it? I wasn't going to get any sleep again. It's okay, beat off the black-haired women. But use headphones. I feel like, while this whole thing felt quick, I feel like her has been a decent length. It hasn't been, it hasn't felt like it has been too short or too long either. We didn't have time to see each other due to our afternoon classes. We had etiquette lessons in my room later that evening then talked for a while once we finished. After a quick review of today's lesson, we were too self-conscious to have any sort of decent conversation. Even though she'd accepted my feelings, our relationship remained unchanged. She didn't say no. Intermediate? It hasn't been intermediate this entire time. What? Please and thank you. Minochan wasn't one to push forward without a good reason. So made me happy to know I was making good, steady progress. Oh, sorry. Just a sec. That would be the polite thing to do, after all. Check and why. What? Time to meet the sister-in-law. I made a beeline for the door without so much as responding to meat. I mean, chickens. Wait, no, not chicken. Mina chan's objections. She's gonna be like, oh, is she? Don't give me that. What's up? I'm impressed you know her. Yep, she sure is. And she's teaching me etiquette. Huh? You've got it wrong. Mina-chan likes dressing up that way. Yeah, really. Probably not. I had even told her I liked her and hugged her too. Those were more likely to turn into issues though, so I kept them to myself. The privilege of seeing her? Chicken was so nervous she was panicking. Minuchan had a determined smile. Yeah, look at her. Just look at her. I could see it once in a while, but smiles like these really did look perfect on her. So why would you ask that? Come on, how little faith do you have in me? Now that I pay more attention, because in the start of this route, at Steam had like a little achievement for Mina, and I remember, uh, I forgot what the freak the sentence said, but it had wa at the end, and I realized that Mina Chan, every sentence she speaks, she always throws in wa at the end. So, 
for people that know about that, why? Is that like an accent thing? Is that like a re- accent, I guess, accent regional thing? Or is it like a, f- I don't know what else it could be. Because she throws in wa after everything. So I'm like, huh, I wonder why. If anybody knows, I would appreciate it if you let me know. Thanks. Chicken was totally over the moon. She sounded jealous about Sylvie before too. Is that how it works? Isn't that great? I want her to be more than just a friend, actually. Forget all of that for a second. What did you come over for? Oh, thank you. Chicken was punctual about these things, too. Although she would, of course, demand I return the favor. Oh, I see. As usual, she was quite the chatterbox. No clue. I seriously don't know. I might get four or five boxes. If I were to get any, it would be from Sylvie, Ellie, Reina, or Akunachan. Rhea? Wasn't likely, and there was no chance in heck I'd get any from Jogasaki. Aren't you proud to have a cool brother? Huh? What the? Was Minachan jealous? <laughs> I need it. I want your chocolate the most. I'll brush my teeth like crazy. See, there it is again. What? All exercises make up for what I eat. Alright, you did not need to talk. That's fine if I'm visiting home and usually taking a nap right next to me, so don't give me that. Alright, another thing you didn't have to say. This was the problem with relatives. Alright, get away. <sighs> like, is she supposed to applaud for that? Oops, sorry, chicken nugget. Hmm? Chicken, what's up? Huh? Why? Hey, hey, what the heck? She drove me out. That was my room. Not that it was likely she'd let me back in if I went back. Oh well, guess I'll kill some time. Did she possibly catch on the jealousy? <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. But why would she ask that? I could not panic now. I had to remain calm. I like how we get like a another view. Like in... It's similar to the another view from Cafe Stella. Where the main character is not in the room. And the side characters or having conversation or dialogue. They finally threw that in. It took them long enough. Once again, it took a whole other game for that. But hey, it came. It's okay. I'm being too critical, maybe. Whoa, she's sharp. Did she catch on the jealousy, though? I wasn't used to others singing through me emotionally. 
くにチョコを渡した時も複雑そうにしてましたよ。Whoa, like、that too? あ、あれは勝手にそういう気持ちになってしまうんですの。私、わからなくて。Ah, she caught the jealousy. 自分の気持ちがどういうものかわからなくてなるほどそういうことだったんですねダメですわね私も自分のことなのにこんなにもわからなくなるなんていいんじゃないですか恋って多分そういうものですからでも皆さんもちゃんと答えてええよ you don't need to pressure her 厳しいことを言うようですけど、ずっと逃げてるままじゃ。That was totally unnecessary. かわいそうです。それに、みなさん自身も辛いと思います。うん、OK、ファン。Maybe a little bit。ずいぶんはっきりとおっしゃいますのね。はい。女の子は恋しなくちゃ。I envied how honest she could be. Even if I told myself to be honest with myself. My princess side got in the way. Everything I did was for the benefit of my country and lineage. Well, there may have been a princess called k a m i n o Behind those actions, I did not exist. Huh? Outwardly resemble each other, but they are certainly siblings in this regard. That took forever. What were you two talking about for over an hour? Mama, so, Coronade. Atode, what does she need? 
感謝することになるんだからあ部屋戻ってあげてみなさん待ってるよ What do you mean she's waiting? Uh, hey, off she went. Man, she sure did whatever she felt like. Oh well, better head back. Yeah, what was this tension in the air? Did Chicken say something to her? I was fully familiar with this now, her restlessly fidgeting in front of me. It was cute, so I just kept quiet and watched. Um, you mean to hang, go hang out together? An excursion? Was she asking me out on a date? I'll be fine. I'll make sure my schedule is clear no matter what. There's nothing more important to me right now than a date with Mina chan. Nice. I invited him on a date. I was overcome with anxiety. I worked up the courage just as Chicken suggested, and I was incredibly relieved when he agreed to the date. However, I was still feeling incredibly uneasy. I knew that my face was dark red and my heart felt like it might explode at any second. I had to settle down a little or I honestly might break down. My clumsy invitation out on a date had delighted him. His joy made me happy and kind. That alone filled my heart. No. Nobody noticed. I'm sorry. Nobody noticed. Nope. That wasn't obvious. Mm -mm. He hadn't noticed the first time I wore it. Remembering it now was a bit irritating. That did sound just like something he would do. However, he clearly did not need to be perfectly considerate in every regard, but I wish he would care a little. I was sure that I was experiencing my very first love right now. Without so much as noticing I was positive I was doing rude or misdirected things. Making proper preparations was important. My only choice was to think of this similarly to ballet and build up experience from scratch. What? Love drill. <laughs> She's funny. Very adorable too. Golden time. Senpai, ohayou gozaimasu. Dajou taisou no. Hui. Akane chan. Morning. Do, doushitan desu ka, senpai? Junbi bantan janai desu ka? Hmm. Yeah. I guess so. I'd woken up earlier and given up on going back to sleep, so I wound up getting ready for radio calisthenics. Him being on time and ready to go is pushing himself, because she's so not used to seeing him up and early. Nah, it's not like that. I want to get some exercise in. When you find yourself in a haze, exercise was best. No. 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 Please. Huh? Uh, that might be a little overboard. Whoa! What did what she do? I was about to say. Hey, I couldn't try to wait. Wait! Save me. 
い出ましたがね。<笑>しまいますわー。そうでしょうか僕はそんな風に考えたことはありませんが僕はちょっとわかりますね3日も続きませんけど That's not really the issue but I guess that that makes it that much more of a pain I was definitely going to be paying for it over the next few days Sorry I'm gonna nod off for a minute ええ修行までもう少しありますから休んでくださいち一松の意見を聞きたかったのにまたにするかちなみに何を聞くつもりだったの俺一押しのショタ漫画の感想それはオーロ君が元気な時でも答えてくれますかね What kind of manga are we talking about? I'm starved My stomach gave an audible growl when I woke up to the smell of food ああ、やっと起きたのねオーロ、oh? もうお昼よあ、oh, for real? あれだけ声をかけても体をゆすっても起きないのですから。Oh, well, 昨夜は寝ていないのですか ?No, I just did too much this morning. へえ。朝から体力を。It's not like that, so wipe that smirk off your face. なになに何が違うの、oh. 私にも何のことかわかりかねますわ。<笑>シルビー様、興味を持つのはおやめください。She's a very sharp one. <laughs> Sounded like we tripped all of Adelis and the censors. No, excuse me. Nag. Nagi chan. Censors, so that was the right call. I went on a 10 kilometer run after radio calisthenics this morning. Please don't confuse me for yourself. I wasn't nearly as active as I used to be and lost most of my stamina. I guess so. I'm really hungry, so I should grab something to eat. Oh, no. It's so good to hear you. Yes, me. What are you? Ah, there's only 10 minutes left. Oh, no. Hey, I'm going to challenge you. Hey, start. Oh, he said. I tore open a package of bread, tossed it fiercely into my mouth. Oh, it's so good. 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 パンが溶けちゃうみたいになくなっていくわ。マッチマッチマッチ。本当にすごい勢いですね。これなら5分とかからず完食できるのでは。え、男の子ってすごいのね。こんなに勢いよくご飯を食べられるなんて。頑張れ
That doesn't sound like a lot. That makes sense. I'll reconsider how fast I eat then. Well, please let me off the hook for today. It was an emergency. Ah, darn it. Expert plans, huh? I hadn't thought about it. Actually, I should say I forgot. Thanks, but I'm gonna pass. I'll just do what I do best. Be a lazy bum. Yeah. Why did they all sound so disappointed? Because they're being a lazy bum. Decided to kill time by wandering around campus in place of an expert planning class. I hadn't picked out a subject or profession I wanted to stick to yet. I didn't know what I wanted to do, much less what I should do, and that uncertainty made the decision all the more difficult. Right about now, I bet Mina-chan was hard at work in her ballet class. I thought about going to watch her, but gave up on the idea. I'd feel guilty barging into her class when she was working so hard. Is it okay for me to be like this? The only way I could balance things out was to face my problems head on. Now that I thought about it, what did I want to do? What was I meant to strive for? All of these are solid questions. Find out in the next episode, because we gotta end it here. Oh, freak. Not, nope. Almost clicked exit. That's not good. Alrighty, we're gonna wrap it up here. All I have to say is, this is a great episode. Reyna, of course, being a dummy. But that's not the highlight of the episode. The highlight of the episode is Chicken came through with some advice. And it seemed like she definitely did help Mina a bit. And I just can't wait to see how this ends. Also, I'm enjoying this read a lot more than I thought I would. Like, it's not like I wasn't thinking it wasn't going to be good. I guess it just exceeded the expectation. That's all it is. But it was a good episode. I hope you guys thought so too. And if you did, hit that like. That helps me out emotionally a lot. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. So you could, uh, you know, stay up to date with the uploads. Because... Very soon, there will be the next episode as well. So with that being said, I'll wrap it up here. Once again, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next video as always. So stay safe. And until next time.